time to pump iron or look like the oak or something. Hi, I'm Brian Lape and I'm back with another review you can use. So we haven't done these in a while and people have been asking and we've got a backlog of stuff so let's get started. So this product which I think might be being phased out, I don't know this whole product line, Muscle Pharma had with Arnold, I don't know how well it went. The only product I've tried in the entire line, I did try the protein powder once quite a while ago, but this is the one that I actually like the most. Uh, this was Basically, it was this and the protein powders all I tried. I know they had all kinds of other stuff. So, Meyer only tended to have this, um, and I got this on sale not too long ago. But um, this was pretty good. Um, this was the uh, raspberry lemonade flavor, which seems to be the flavor of the month. Some kind of berry and lemonade. I've seen raspberry and lemonade, strawberry and lemonade, usually some kind of red berry and lemonade. So, this uh, stuff, you know, this is a pre workout. It has the stereotypical blend. I forget exactly how much caffeine it has. I think it's maybe 100, 120, 110, it's around 100 milligrams of, of caffeine. Um, it has one caffeine source. Some of these have two or three different types of caffeine sources. It doesn't have any of the extracts and things like that. But it does have a pretty good nitrous oxide blend to get the NOS going and everything else. So what I liked about this is it was very mixable with a shaker. Um, usually did about a half a scoop and then what I started doing was a half a scoop in the morning before breakfast to kind of give me a boost in the morning and then a half a scoop at, uh, before my workout or well, when I wait if I didn't work out I didn't take it but um, unlike a lot of other pre-workouts this one took a bit to, to get adjusted kind of back a lot of them have these really intense off-the-wall flavors they taste really sweet, many of them, even though they have very little sugar, so obviously they're using some kind of artificial sweetener. This one did not. The flavor was a bit more subdued, um, and I know we like to show the scoop, and this is a, a fairly decent sized scoop. It's, it's kind of bigger than some. Um, there's still some remnants of it in here. So I would do about a half of this. And uh, what I also like about this is I could feel it working fairly quickly, maybe 10-15 minutes at most, and it would peak at about half hour and kind of stay pretty level and then slowly drop off. My body, uh, you know, perhaps it's just me, but what it seemed to me because, and there's no sugar in this, no calories, one carb, because it didn't taste so sweet, and there's quite a bit of evidence to suggest that the brain will adjust to something sweet and release insulin even though there's not much sugar or any in the system. So what I noticed about this is I didn't get about halfway through my workout. My workout's about an hour from the time I stretch, warm up. I usually do about 10 minutes or so of some kind of cardio thing and stretch and then and warm up and do some more dynamic stretching while I'm, I'm doing whatever exercise. Uh, I didn't have that with this. Uh, some of the ones that I've tried before that are really sweet, I take them and my, it's like my body just, my brain says insulin's needed and I get about halfway through my workout and I crash hard. I've had some where I've had to grab like a protein shake or something out of the refrigerator at the gym or Gatorade even worse because I'm, my blood sugar is dropping like a stone. And, uh, and I take a lot of CLA and all this other stuff to help my, keep my blood sugars down and have my body flush the sugars out. So some of those are, are like that. But this I did not have that um, response. And what I also didn't have was this huge spike. I've had some like C4 which just sent me off the chart. Uh, this didn't. This was more of a, you know, a low earth orbit if you will. Now it may be because I was only taking half a scoop. I don't know. Um, but it has really nice super nitric oxide, world's first molecularly uh, modified arginine. I mean, this stuff was pretty good for what it is. I mean, I, this is probably about you know, $15, $16 for this tub. Uh, there are, I think, 30, yeah, 30 servings in here. And since I'm using half, it doesn't take, it's even longer. Uh, so I don't know if this brand's going to stick around. I don't know if this was just a few years deal or what. But I had someone at GNC the other day tell me that this is uh, being phased out. We'll see. 
But I actually like this stuff. This is actually, if you still can find this, it's a recommend. Uh, if you want a good pre-workout that doesn't send you into orbit, that doesn't make you crash because of uh, an insulin response, uh, the flavor is pretty good. I'd give it about a 7 out of 10 on a flavor, 7 or 8 out of 10 on mixability. Uh, my, for me, the effectiveness is 10 out of 10 because I actually found it to be very effective for me. It was very good. I, so if it's not being made, made anymore, it's kind of a shame. Um, it, it, I did buy it because Arnold's name. I wanted to see if it was a gimmick because of Arnold's name, but I don't think so. Yes, there are more intense uh, and more concentrated and more flavorful pre-workouts out there. Um, but this one, to me, was the, sub, the just right at the level I needed. I'm not out there moving the world. Uh, you know, I'll be 50 in a couple years, so I'm not bench pressing 700 pounds. I'm not, you know, squatting 1,100 pounds. I mean, I'm, I'm up above body weight on several things, but um, getting there on bench, I've got to really work on my shoulders. So, and I've been working at it for quite a while. So anyway, if you can find this, pick some up, I would recommend it, uh, especially if it is being discontinued because you're probably going to find it in the, in the bargain bin. It's going to be pretty cheap compared to other stuff, but I think it's very effective uh, unless you're going to go for two hours or something and then take another scoop halfway through or something like that. But anyway, all right, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for clicking like. Thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you.